But isn't it also, um, because now that you touch upon it, isn't it also a sort of a legit way of um, telling these stories um, with a function without actually, well, I call it spooking uh, the psychopath? Um, because if you were teaching your kids in your village about yeah. actually real psychopaths, then the real psychopaths would uh, respond. They would feel attacked or cornered. Yes, and also you're dealing with historical legacies as well. That, like, you in the past in you know in Western Christian societies, maybe not so much in the in say the Hindu society in India, where you had traditions like the Nats, who you know who you know and other Sindar traditions, which were very open towards sexual. Uh, you know, towards sexual uh, realities that the West wasn't. You couldn't actually come around and say there are these things called pedophiles who, you know, have sex with children. So you would invent the likes of Hansel and Gretel or Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, exactly. And you couldn't, because, because you couldn't explain to them, well, what is rape? Well, it's when a man holds a woman down and does this. When, you know, how could you explain that to them when you couldn't even give them the basic facts of life? I mean, uh, it's been shown now that up until, you know, the late Victorian era, among the peasantry in Europe, there was still a, a certain ignorance as to where children came from. They, you know, because people were having sex all the time and babies just seemed to appear. <laughs> you know, so it, it, unless you have a stop, you know, that kind of a thing, you don't know. They, they, many, many peak cultures still thought, until like say 150 years ago, that just getting married, the actual act of marriage produced the baby. You know, it's it's very it's very strange. It's just because this this is because of the 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 prohibitions from religion upon sexual uh, realities that denied people the the truth of what was going on, and hence that's where these uh, these fairy tales came from. You, you know, you couldn't exp how can you explain to a child what a paedophile is when you don't even know how your own children came about? And also, um, well, in 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 your um, individual. Uh description of psychopaths, right, where one psychopath is acting upon a victim. Um, there is also that whole uh, control of sexuality uh, and about how it, it, it's it's done and, and who takes charge and who commands everything. And, and you were talking about uh, taking uh, the word out of the mouth of, uh, of the victim. Um, isn't it kind of the same with society, how some sort of psychopathic uh, so social structure, uh, structure have um, done exactly the same in terms of sexual liberate, sexual realities and sexual uh, oppression. Mm, yeah, now we are coming to terms with it and and we are liberating our uh, personal understanding of sexuality. But for a long time, we've been in a in a in a victim situation where the people have actually been victimized by a psychopathic uh, entity or social structure that's actually taken away that control or that freedom. Well, that's absolutely true, and I'll tell you where that really shows up is if you look at pornography, you know, if you look at pornography in different cultures, it's actually a, quite an interesting insight into that culture. American pornography is fascinating. It's uh, it, you, it, What you're basically being given is a neurosis. Uh, you'll have, like, uh, American women, you know, in, porno in pornographic films today will generally be shaven, there'll be no pubic hair, and you'll have things like pit piercings and nipples. You won't have a, an actual. You won't have actual close-ups of certain acts where you go to say, and that's that shows a sort of. A, I don't know if it's a sexual immaturity. Actually, I think it is. And there's also some very interesting self-loathing aspects there in relation to the obsession with anal sex and things like that. And there's also you're getting you're getting insights into neuroses as well with this whole idea of that there the. the the, what they call the milfs, the the women, you know, the mothers. I would love the fuck thing. They're actually getting younger and younger, and you have like eighteen and nineteen year old actors, actresses, porn actresses playing this. This is a neurotic insight into the the terror, the terror when Americans of their own uh, mortality, they won't accept it. So they 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 keep pushing old age younger and younger. And you see this also in things like 
advertising for anti-aging cream. They have like a, an 18 year old model. She's like worried about wrinkles. She's just had a, she's still in high school. And that you see that in the pornography as well, where in other societies you have strange aspects of pornography. Like in, in India, the pornography, the women are definitely, de definitely light skinned. Uh, and they'll often dye their hair blonde and the men will be light skinned as well so there's almost like a racial self-hatred within that that aspect of pornography and then you have other societies like ireland and even france to a, a certain extent where there's very little interest in pornography <laughs> and it's not because of a sexual repression it's just there just isn't really you know that kind of a thing it's the it's the strangest thing and it's it's uh, it's just you know I, I, the, the lack of interest in pornography in society in, in certain cultures may also be a neurosis in itself of born out by you know sect, uh, religious oppression that was relatively recent or maybe guilt or maybe the idea of contraception wasn't as freely available and things like that but the the impact of pornography within societies is an extremely interesting uh, 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 place to go and it's worthy of study in terms of how we come to terms with the soul and the spirit and the psyche of modern human beings because there's a it's 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 a it's a taboo to even think about this stuff or talk about it but if the likes of freud and Jung were around today I, i'm sure they'd be writing volumes on the on pornography and you know how it because that's that's where neuroses is being expressed in the modern age I, I think they might not actually even uh, have so much to say because there would be so much available drugs and pornography, <laughs> so they might be busy and not actually write anything.